And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... The Runaway Rocket. It was midnight, and intense full moon beamed down on Zero Zero Island as Little Squeak slept in his cozy bed and scratched... snored loudly in his darkened cave below. All was peaceful as Colonel Bleep studied the Futomic radar scanner. With this instrument, the Colonel could watch any unusual movements in the universe. And this very night, a giant new rocket was scheduled to be launched by the United States of America from an experimental rocket launching base on the east coast of Florida. Yes, there it was. As Bleep watched the scanner, he saw the rocket soar skyward at tremendous speed, then level off towards the wastes of the South Atlantic Ocean. This was a test firing, and Bleep was pleased to see the Earth people making such excellent progress with rockets. But at that instant, something seemed to go wrong. The moon appeared to concentrate all its glowing power on the nose of the missile, forcing it to veer off its planned course and to streak instead directly towards Zero Zero Island. In only seconds, it would come crashing down to destroy Squeak's little dream house, scratch his peaceful cave, and Colonel Bleep's headquarters for his secret mission here on Earth. In a flash, Bleep <laughs> darted into the sky to meet the speeding projectile. Quickly, he maneuvered himself between the mysterious moon rays and the onrushing missiles, and with a blast of futonic power, <laughs> he brought the rocket to a screeching halt in mid-air. Using his Futurian skill in the powers of reverse propulsion, Bleep safely returned the rocket to its Florida launching site, ready for use in further test flights in the future. Then Bleep hurried back to his island base to begin some very serious thinking. What was wrong on this peaceful isle? Why had Scratch recently tumbled into the open jaws of a giant sea serpent to be nearly trapped forever deep inside? Everyone knows that all sea monsters are purely imaginary and not real creatures at all, except for this particular sea serpent. Yes, this monster had been real enough. And then a terrible termite had kidnapped poor Squeak, the little wooden puppet, for a tasty dinner. But what had caused an ordinarily tiny insect to grow into a huge and terrifying monster? Bleep turned to his microscope to examine again those traces of interplanetary wood dust which he had discovered on the wings of the termite. The colonel was sure this strange substance held a valuable clue. And that runaway rocket, the way the moon had concentrated its rays on the nose of the device, you would have almost thought it was being guided by moon power. Colonel Bleep was certain. Somewhere in outer space, a powerful and evil force was being directed against Bleep and his friends. But only one person in the entire universe had such evil power. That person was Dr. Destructo. But of course, Dr. Destructo was at this moment a prisoner in a space bubble anchored in the outer ring of Saturn. Or was he? Bleep had to be sure. He switched on his butomic frequency transmitter and directed a secret code message to the Interplanetary Intelligence High Command on the planet Futura. Advise status of Dr. Destructo immediately. Soon, Bleep would have his reply. But meanwhile, another day was beginning on Zero Zero Island.